Well, thank you for joining us once again. Just in case there's a time you're catching up, uh, we've already done the introduction, uh, a lot of news updates, but we're here to do the newspapers. Yes, we are. And so it's good to have you. We're doing this with uh, Inshira Ado. Inshira Ado will be joining us uh, via Zoom. And Uncle Ben, Ben Efsen also joining Uncle us. Uncle Bene. <laughs> what's up? Good morning, Gifty and Roland. Please, he said, what's up? And good morning, Inshira. Please, please. Good morning, uh, Mr. Epson. Uh, no, Uncle, Uncle ben, I want to find out how you respond to how you should respond to what's up. <laughs> <laughs> we on air, so later. <laughs> we don't have to bed, eh? go bed. Go bed, not even know. <laughs> okay. But, but, but Roland, Roland, you you've you been teaching me. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Then, uh, then, then you have stuff. If Roland has been teaching you, then you really have stuff. I'm going to put them to the I'll do it. I think yes, I saw him there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, in Shira, we we'll look at dispatch, and Uncle Ben, you look at statement. I don't know why you took interest in the statement, though. I kept wondering. <laughs> Maybe the picture of Nanabi attracted. Well, it was it, it was uh, Brian who, who sent it to me. Okay. <laughs> Very careful, Sam is at this juncture. You want to move on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start with Inshira, I guess. Inshira yeah. with the dispatch. Gifty, you just sounded like an MC. <laughs> I oh. just juncture. <laughs> really? Yeah. Juncture. MC right. don't really say that. So, Inshira, you start for us. All right, so uh, the front page of the uh, Daily Dispatch says, uh, Floor 2020 elections, uh, we will go to the Supreme Court, according to uh, John Dramani Muhammad, the former president, and black bear of the National Democratic Congress, and also government disinfect uh, disinfection of public and private uh, universities has been launched. Also, government eroding NDC's gains in the oil and gas uh, sector, according to uh, Emmanuel Amakofibo, the former minister uh, for energy under, or, uh, under John Mahama's administration. And also, housing conditions in the central region and there's a focus on agriculture in the Ashanti region. Those are the headlines uh, for the uh, Daily Dispatch. Mm. All right, shall we move on to uh, Uncle Ben with the statesman? Uncle Ben. Yes, uh, we have uh, the, the main headline, banner headline is, don't do NDC even work. Uh, we could caution youth, as in Ketia and Mona, inside violence up north. And then Abi says that the youth cannot forget Muhammad's intransigence on trainees' allowances. And then Muhammad threatens EC over 2020 elections. Hmm. All right, interesting <laughs> headlines there. I have the Daily Graphic newspaper. I'll continue from there. Daily Graphic newspaper, Burma headline says, We're committed to peace but won't accept flawed elections. John Mahama. The story is by Kesta Abraham Crunch. And it has a picture of former President John Romani Mahama as well. Then 24 health workers test positive for COVID-19 in Infantiman. And increasingly we're seeing those happen. A lot of uh, infections coming up for, uh, among the frontline health workers. Then Dr. Kofi Mensa, Managing Director of ADB, is here. And the story is ADB disperses 23 million Ghana cities to poultry farmers. Wow, interesting to see what that story contains, actually. And then tertiary institutions get ready to reopen. That story is on the back page of the, the, the Daily Graphic newspaper. Disinfection exercise begins. And finally, they have an update on the COVID-19 cases. As of June 10, the cases are 10,201, recovered 3,755 and 48 people have died. Back page of the Daily Graphic newspaper, that's a picture, I beg your pardon, of uh, the disinfection going on at the universities. And it says tertiary institutions get ready to reopen. Disinfection exercise begins. Malcolm Care Foundation donates to four hospitals in the center spread. It says increasing symptomatic cases of COVID-19 disturbing. Stories by Desmond Kofiteria and then freight forwarders appeal to president over challenges at Tema Port as a discussion we've had here over and over again but it looks like there are still some challenges they want the president, president to look at it world food program presents food supplement for COVID-19 patients story by Jennifer Kwasin so these are the stories uh, on the front page back page and the center spread of the Ghanaian Times news uh, uh, the daily graphic I beg your pardon um, newspaper if I continue, I have the Ghanaian Times to continue. University Zoom Lion nationwide disinfection exercise in Accra, page 11. 
Uh, it's all about the reopening of schools that's about to happen. And Ghana loses 100 million pot revenue, according to the minority. That story is on page 20. We've heard the uh, operators of Unipass say that they've actually made a lot more money, but the minority is disputing that they're saying 100 million uh, Ghana cities actually. Uh, has been lost. And Ghana's confirmed COVID-19 cases hit over 10,000. Most of these the newspapers are reporting on the COVID-19 cases. The banner headline for the Ghanaian Times, though, is Railway Ministry Averse Disaster at Abofu Moves to Safeguard Accra and Sawam Railway from Erosion. Story is on page 12. Comes with a picture of Dr. Michael A. Anyete stressing a point during the inspection. Mm. And the back page... Zoom line disinfects. That story is there as well. AGI donates PPE 10,000 to VRCC. Center spread has that Abofu story. Noguchi poised to become center of excellence in research, diagnosis, others. And the cases confirmed has Dr. Patrick Abwaje's picture. Then Matthew Poku Prempe on the reopening of schools. So that's it for the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Roland. All right, well, let me quickly do the daily guide. It has on the front page, we apostle and Marx after killer threats. We do have Varsity's disinfection exercise, uh, also a headline on the front page of the Daily Guide. Alongside that, AG makes case against old register. Today is the 11th of uh, June. Mm -hmm. It's whether the Supreme Court will come out with the decision. Uh, we'll be live from there as well. Um, make sure you stick and stay. Um, Mahama hints election 20 rejection. Duncan Williamson runs a mock with sex videos. He has uh, attached. An inserted picture with um, the tag Archbishop Duncan Williams and son on the side. Uh, Freddie Blair calls for unity ahead of primaries. And Freddie Blair's picture has been attacked as well. On the back page is of football. Neymar hot over mom, 23-year-old lover comment. Yeah. And then COVID-19 hits Stoke City boss has tested positive after the latest round of testing on Monday. We keep wondering. Uh, Charlie, the Premier League, we want it back, but some of the owners, you know, players keep testing. Okay, now let's go to the finder. The fi finder has on the front page, that's the business finder. The ADB disperses 23.2 million Ghana cities to six poultry value chain players in the Bono region. That's a good one. Just to six. Oh, that's a good investment. Of course, we'll pay back. It's not free. ICAMS records 1,452 transactions at land borders. But there's also a paper I read uh, as a press conference. <laughs> is, it, is it the uh, WhatsApp, the, the contradictions yes, in uh, the reports? Yes. You know, so, we were talking about at the beginning of yes, the week. Yes, yes. Well. And, and, and the, the Ghanaian Times says Ghana loses 100 million port revenue. That's mm. according to the minority. Mm. And this one says, you know, yeah. so. Even the freight forward, there's a section of them uh, also raise issues yeah. uh, in one of those papers or so. Uh, Melcom donates 20 boxes of bar soap to five health facilities. The story is on page 8 of the paper. And um, yeah, that'll be it for now. Okay, okay. any pick for you? Uh, Uncle Ben, which one have you picked uh, for us to discuss? Then we'll go to Inshira also and, and get his pick. Well, I think that I would take uh, the Mahama angle uh, that they will go to court. I think that uh, it was unnecessary at this stage. Why? The party in power. The party in power, the MPP, has said the tone in 2012. They said the tone in 2012 that if you are dissatisfied, fortunately, the new chief justice has promised, he, uh, he promised during his vetting in parliament that in the event of an election petition, the longest time that Ghanaians will be held spellbound will be 42 days, not 240 days. So definitely the party in power has set the tone. And I think that that reminder at this stage, you know, it creates the impression that you are already trying to find fault because you know you are going to lose. I mean, if, if somebody of a lower pedigree within the party structure has said it. You know, they are allowed to do that, but uh, the flag bearer and virtual leader of the party, I believe that it would have been better said by somebody else. But we know that if you have a problem, you go to court. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I, I remember that election petition case, and, and importantly, uh, what the Chief Justice at the time said, also uh, some of the um, key justices, uh, you take a, a look at uh, Justice Atukuba and some of his um, recommendations as uh, utterances at the time, gave an indication that it is important for the key stakeholders to play important roles in ensuring that their followers also tend to follow through what their speeches tend to portray. So um, uh, because of the mass following that they have, uh, there's a lot of circumspection that is needed. But the question also is, it has to be a level playing field for all. If the concerns are being raised, it also means uh, these concerns have to be accommodated. Uh, don't you think, Injera? <laughs> Uh, Hi, Inshira. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, that, that question. Terribly sorry, I was. Yeah. Uh, All right, go ahead. I didn't catch the question. Could yeah, you, yeah. Could so you repeat it, or can I just go ahead with the story? Yeah, so, I so think? Ba basically, the Chief Justice at the time, and indeed one of um, the main justices. Well, said that uh, we're going to. We're looking. We're looking at a shorter turnaround this time around. If we have to go to court because of an election. Um, that, for me, is a good thing. But uh, beyond that, uh, I think that what uh, Mr. Epstein said uh, makes quite a lot of sense. The party hierarchy of the, new, uh, the National Democratic Congress is uh, deep enough to have other people do uh, what you say, you, you know, for the lack of a better expression, the dirty work. That the office of the former president and uh, lead for uh, going into the 2020 election must be something that should be kept above certain kinds of uh, engagements. And so you would have expected that the party's communication uh, uh, structures would have been deployed to, to do that. In, in actual fact, uh, Elvis Epriankara has been quoted as saying that the NDC will be uh, filing a barrage of uh, uh, cases in the court against the EC. So they already uh, bent, you know, bent on going to court and seeking legal redress where they find that they've not been treated well. And their main concern at the moment, even before the election, has to do with the fact that the majority voted to uh, use the Ghana card as well as the uh, passport as the source document to verify and authenticate the citizenship of people who want to register to vote in the uh, 2020 election. Mm. Now, this has raised quite a lot of uh, concerns amongst lots of people. Not everyone has a passport. Not everybody has been able to register for the Ghana card. Yeah. And um, those who only have the previous um, registration card from the uh, Electoral Commission as a proof of their citizenship now mm. may feel that they will be disenfranchised. And I think that uh, the NDC feels there is some legal basis on mm. which they can go to court. Mm. If that's the case, I mean, we will all wait to see how they do that. Yeah. Uh, but I agree. Uh, mm. Certain mm. Uh, positions and utterances and communication must go through the party's yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, communication hierarchy. Okay. And, 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 and the flag bearer should stick to, you know, telling us what he wants to do. Uh, differently, if given the chance to uh, run the administration of this country. Yeah. All right. Uh, Speaking about the Ghana cards, there's a cartoon here um, in the Daily Guide. Uh, so, so someone is sleeping and apparently snoring. Ho, ho, and then someone is standing by and saying, Emeritus, some people, they expect them are cards. Others, too, they, want, they wait for capture. I don't know the point that's been made here, but it mm -hmm. looks like someone is sleeping. That's the point that's been communicated. My pick for today, by the way, is not really necessarily a pick, but I'm just doing a bit of comparison here. I'm looking at the banner headline of the Daily Graphic. It says, we're committed to peace. And that's coming from the uh, commemoration of the NDC's uh, you know, anniversary yesterday, former President John Mahama speaking. And, but then it adds you know, in the sub headline that, but won't accept flawed elections and it's attributed to John Mahama. I find it interesting how the Daily Guide also reports it. The Daily Guide says, um, Mahama hints election 2020 rejection. And our story is on big three. Uncle Ben, you are a veteran in this uh, business. I am just doing a bit of comparison and I'm looking at going into an election where everybody is calling for peace. And I'm looking at the angles at which, you know, from which journalists tell stories and what we can learn from past experiences going forward and going into this election that obviously has high stakes and we've seen all the issues that are coming up.
please come again. I couldn't hear. There was a bit of destruction. Please right. come again. I'm saying that I'm doing a little bit of comparison. Instead of doing a pick, I'm looking at yes. how the Daily Graphic reported what former President John Mahama said. And I'm looking a bit at how the Daily Guide also yes. reported it. I find it interesting as a, a let's say, a journalism student. And, I'm looking, and then a development student as well. It says, we're committed to peace but won't accept flawed elections, John Mahama. So essentially it provides, you know, sort of the other side, the both sides uh, um, on what Mr. Mahama said. Then the daily guy says, Mahama hints election 2020 uh, rejection. I find it a bit interesting, and I'm saying that you are a veteran in this business. So I'm interested to pick your thoughts on it. And I'm doing this in a context of, going into an election where the stakes are high, everybody's calling for peace, and we always do this. And I just want to pick your thoughts on that. See, Gifty, um, remember, in fact, in today's issue, we are still running, if we do that memory lane, you see, um, if you look at the 2010 population census, mm. as at 2010, 79.8% of Ghanaians were below 40 years as at 1981. We have a very young population. So I do that memory lane to jog people's mind. Looking at least, I've been very much involved since 1992. I'm writing my sixth book. So humbly speaking, when people are speaking, or they are threatening. Uh, I tend to caution them. I, I watch the statements I make because, look, in 2020, I hope that the police administration will make it clear that if somebody decides to go and pick a ballot box and starts running, I'm not saying they should kill anybody. I think they should aim at the legs. <laughs> but if you are wearing zigzag, the rest I won't continue. <laughs> Statements by such people, elderly people, tends to insight. You see, I find some of your statement in the statement. Um, the statement. Statesman very interesting. Mm. The fantasy will say, Otonya Kumo to your dream. Samir Uku, if he goes to play back some of his utterances in the position, you are the same as the NDC folks are doing. And we need to bear in mind that God has blessed us. I mean, this 2020, like I said, this issue of register, let my vote count. We're more vociferous in their demonstrations than up to 2016 elections. Now, when in January I said the NDC should go to court that they've done now, they chose to do it the other way around. If demonstrations, Gifty and Roland, did not change Salatose's mind, what made the NDC think that by demonstrating it would change Jimenez's mind? Yes, you can have an avalanche of court cases. You see, once man has learned to shoot without missing, the bird has learned to fly without patching. Now that you, you have a free anchor, you've said this, the judges don't live in isolation. Yes, I think that uh, Mama Yarega is going to file another case concerning the use of birth certificates. Mm -hmm. So you've indicated your plan already. I'm sure that today, I'll be surprised if today is 11th, if by the end of this month, that is after two weeks, once the Supreme Court, I believe, decides on whether the EC is right in using the old voters register, they can file every day. The EC will continue with this thing, mm. and the processes will start. Yeah. So utterances, and mind you, everywhere you have people who will just be paid to cause mayhem. So we need yeah. to be very careful, and the politicians need to watch their tongue. I'm sure many of them have got uh, tickets in, in case of something to leave the country. Well, we, we're, well, we're praying that at that time. Can fly now. Well, I'm praying that at that time the, no, the, 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 the ban will still be enforced. Uh, no, or no, flying. no. We, we want the ban <laughs> to go away. I mean, we want coronavirus to go away. But uh, um, it, it's coronavirus has shown clearly that if you don't build your house.
mm. you won't have anywhere to hide when when a, a, a disaster falls. So, Agben, very interesting. I like to always bring this up because of it, it looks to me like uh, COVID has overshadowed all the efforts that we usually put put in pushing for peace ahead of elections. And so I like to bring it up uh, all the time. Roland, shall we do My Joy Online? Yeah, definitely. We have to do My Joy Online. Oh, I must say, though, that we've, uh, I mean, Ishra joined us, but he has had to uh, quickly, you know, yeah, Lee. join another awesome. discussion. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so uh, we'll do MyJoyOnline.com on stream. Uh, we have it there. This is not the time to compile new voters register. Domahini to Electoral Commission. Mm. Mm. And yesterday we understood that uh, they, not, I think it's the National House of Chiefs, they're not really excited about uh, the Electoral Commission's position. They thought that they had, you know, indicated certain things that haven't been taken into consideration, so they felt disrespected by the Electoral Commission. That's the story we brought you as well. If you scroll all the way da all the way up, there are still a lot more stories for you to take a look at myjoyonline.com. Uh, 157 new cases bring Ghana's COVID-19 tally to 10,358. Wow. And man sues state for 5 million cities over death of his wife 20 months after marriage. That's very painful. Security operators didn't plant weed on Apostle Kobnei J. That's according to Seth Champon, the chairperson of the Parliament's Committee on uh, Defense and Interior. Um, please pray for us. Archbishop Duncan Williams appeals after some social media outburst uh, we'll be having a discussion about you know uh, uh, mental health as well the minority mps condemn rambo style arrest of apostle kabreje and landlords threaten to evict health workers over fears of contracting covid 19. that's the story we did as well but it's a stigmatization being meted out to people who are helping us fight this disease and finally hundreds of south korea schools close again after reopening that's why we have to be extra careful learn from these countries the examples of these countries we don't need to reinvent the wheel as we try to open up we need to be very careful finally police blame santasi resident intrusion quote unquote for escaped of escape of four suspected robbers we have those stories and more at myjoyonline.com if you do click on it I, will, I encourage you to click share click share click share let people know what's happening so that's it for the um MyJoyOnline.com. Do we still have? Uh, yeah, okay. we'll go to um, BBC Africa. We have a couple of uh, stories there streaming live, uh, Africa Live. Tortured Zimbabwe politicians charged. Uh, something you would always say in Africa. Yeah, politicians. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we see our president is there. Oh. Yeah. How mm. Ghana paid tribute to George Floyd, and you know, there's uh, during the funeral. Yeah. The family and. Uh, uh, some of the obituaries that were, were read subsequently in Obituary? Well, some, some of the tributes <laughs> that were okay. read uh, subsequently <laughs> paid recognition mm. to Ghana's effort, but more so the president's own. It was just interesting how they mentioned the president's name, though. Aku. 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 Thank you. Next time, please get the name of but 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 we really are in this together. And then we have a couple of stories there. BBC launching two to tackle fake news or two to tackle fake news in Africa. Uh, we also have launched it right here on Joy News, and you could always yeah. get all the latest updates. Uh, you go up there, you have a couple of stories there. But uh, Uncle Ben, we have to leave you, but yeah. just uh, a word on the subject of how George Floyd and the solidarity that the movement has taken, not only from the United States through Europe now to Africa, particularly Ghana. Okay. Uh, in the end, you know, when it started a few uh, weeks ago, it, it said that it was the biggest protest in the U.S. Uh, in the aftermath of the death of Martin Luther King in 1968. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that in trickling down to Africa, we need to be careful that what has happened there in terms of violence will not replicate itself. But I hope for the sake of the U.S. itself, I'm wondering what will happen if there's a police car with two blacks and two whites, and something like that happens, what the blacks will do. Mm. But it's going to change the way race is discussed. 
in this world. I really hope oh, sure. so. There's a black police officer, though, who, who um, was Mohando molested, ultimately died hmm. um, in the U.S. because of the riots subsequently. That's sad. Black police officers. That's sad. No need to kill more people. Nine police officers who have died. In, no need to kill more people. But, yeah, certainly, racial uh, disparities have been institutionalized. We know this for sure. And we really need to use this opportunity to clear it out once and for all. So we'll be doing sports. Uncle Ben, I want to wish you a great day. It's always refreshing to see you in the morning. And so have a great day. Thank you. The same to you. The gang of two. <laughs> <laughs> but you. this is my last week, though. Uh, oh, so okay. so I I'll be calling you behind the scenes since all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you, too. So, Roland will be doing the uh, sports right after this, but I do have a, a quick dedication to uh, Atakuma Mensa. Mr. Atakuma Mensa, he's the Accra Regional Director of the DVLA. Thank you so much. He's a, he's a really nice guy, and uh, I hope that you meet him one day. He's a really nice guy. Okay. It's also uh, the birthday, and this one is coming from our own Raymond Akwasadin, this from Amanoni. Uh, Rafiq Mahama, you're a special aide to the CEO for Engineers and Planners Company Limited. Oh. And uh, you're also a special aide to Ibrahim Mahama, the shareholder of that company. It's also your son's birthday, and you say he's one today, Eric uh, Owusu. You are a great designer uh, for designs in Kumasi, Royal Air for Designs in Kumasi. I say good morning to you and have a great day with your son. And Koji Yang said, uh, it's your birthday. Good morning, man. Oh, wow. I want, to see, I want to see how he's dressed today. Yeah. You know, Kojo likes to look good and he look likes smart to and look sharp. Up, yo, 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 yo. So, Kojo Yangsen, I hope that you see this video. He's on the, on the radio this yeah, morning. Yeah. So, I hope that you see this video later. Big ups to you, man. Yeah. And <laughs> okay. And also, uh, good morning. Before we go quickly, good morning to Kwabna Sika Mensa at McCarthy Hills. He watched this show every day. Thank you for watching. Get more people watching as well. Fantastic. Well, we'll have to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the latest sports headlines right here for you. All right.